Are you guys ready for this? I don't think you are. So I wasn't planning on filming a video today. Today was like my day off. Then I went to the thrift store <laughs> and I was just trying to find like a small storage unit for Juniper's closet, which Rowan is currently playing in if you can hear some banging. And then I ended up having the thrift trip of my life. I am not being dramatic when I say that this is the best thrift haul I've ever done. I am absolutely shocked at all of the stuff that I found. I'm looking around because this whole room is covered in furniture. I got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of furniture and a bunch of little stuff. I did have to make multiple trips with my car and I just knew I was gonna have to sit down and film a haul for you guys. So that's what we're doing. I'm so excited about it. If this is your first time here and you're just finding my channel, hi, my name is Megan. I'm a 26 year old mom to a 21 month old, I almost said 21 year old little boy. And I've got a little girl on the way due in July. And I love all things cozy, thrifting, cottage core, home decor. And we post twice a week on this channel. So if that sounds like your jam, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button. Hey. Yeah. Uh oh, <laughs> I'm about to get exposed, I think. How come Rowan gets an intro and I don't? <laughs> what should I say? The wife to a 33-year-old gamer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and dad. Gamer dad. I'm going to start with the most exciting thing that I found because I have no self-control. Look at this vintage Bentwood chair that I found. Can I show them the seat real quick? Can you help me lift it up? Yeah. The seat is in perfect condition. All the original caning. I just about flipped my lid when I saw this because it was $5. And if you're familiar with like the Bentwood chairs, typically they go for like anywhere from $75 to $150 on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so I squealed and immediately snagged it. And I'm gonna put it in my office slash craft room. So excited about it. Definitely the find of the day. But I also found a lot of other cool stuff, including a chair for Mr. Rowan. Should we show them your chair? One of the very first things that I was excited to see when I walked into the thrift store was this sweet antique child rocking chair. And I absolutely love the wood color of this. I think this is so stinking sweet, but what I really fell in love with is that it actually has, and it is rusty, so I'll need to clean it, um, a music box that's attached to it. So when you rock, it makes this sweet little tinkling sound. I love that you can tell that this has been worn in and loved and I think it's gonna be such a special piece for both of our kiddos to grow up with. And Rowan loves rocking, so it's perfect. He has a rocking chair at his Nana and Pop's house, but he didn't have one here, so I was super glad that I found that. Then I have some smaller things to show you guys. So excited about this. I found Rowan a little toddler-sized Carhartt baseball cap for $1.99. And I've been looking for a baseball cap for him for this summer, and this one is absolutely perfect and I found it in the women's section. <laughs> He's really excited about this rocking chair but I think this is gonna look so cute on him and I was so happy with the price. And for little Miss Juniper I couldn't resist this sweet little gingham uh, dress. This is vintage. It's from Beatrix Potter's Peter Rabbit clothing collection I guess and I just think this is so sweet. I love the little ruffle detail at the bottom, and I especially love these embroidered flowers. That was what really got me for that one. You know how sometimes you go into the thrift store and you happen to find like one thing that you're specifically looking for and it just feels like kismet? That was me and this bowl today. I have been looking for one of these heritage stripe bowls for a really long time, um, and I found this one on an end cap. I was so excited about it. It was a little bit pricier, it was $5.99, but since I have been looking for one, and this is the perfect size for my sourdough, I knew I had to grab it. I think it's so sweet and cottage core looking, and it'll honestly probably stay out as display. And this was $4.99. Something else that I got for our kitchen is this butcher block riser. I have a lot of little things in my kitchen. Um, I like to display the practical pretty things that we have that I reach for often, but sometimes it kind of looks like I've just left stuff out on the counter. So I thought this with our little like butter bell and all of our oil pour things on it would make it look a little bit more intentional. And this was $7.99, so again, a little bit pricier, but I just loved how like worn in it is and it's like chunky, thick, solid wood, so I still picked it up. because I also got two yardsticks for $1.99. 
Nothing really special about these. I just needed them for the quilt that I'm making and I saw them and they were cheaper than the craft store. But I did manage to get two queen bed sheets actually that I'm going to cut up and use for fabric. And the hope is that I can make matching outfits for me and the kids with these. So I got this again, gingham. This is like a spring green color. Absolutely love this. I think like a little bubble romper for Juniper, uh, maybe like a skirt and puff sleeve top set for me and overalls for Rowan. We'll see how much I can actually get out of this fabric, but I am a very beginner sewer and I'm just looking to do easy clothing projects. So I think this will be perfect. That was $7.99. And then I also got this pretty blue fabric print. This uh, fitted sheet is not in super great shape as far as like being a fitted sheet goes. So I think it'll be perfect to cut up and sew with it. And I just thought colors in the pattern were so pretty. So I grabbed that too. Then I will show you guys, I got two tables and two nightstands, sets of drawers. So the sets of drawers were what I went in looking for and I ended up grabbing two of them. They're both solid wood and the one with the bun feet, which I'll insert a clip of here because I can't, you know, hold it up, was $9.99. If you hear Rowan whining, Matt is with him. He's just being a little fussy, sorry. And the other one was $3.99. So for two pieces that are so similar, it was funny that there was such a price discrepancy, but I grabbed them both. So it was an average of $7 each, which I thought was great for two solid wood furniture pieces. One with the bun feet will go in Juniper's closet and it will hold her like socks, shoes, bows, hats, all of that kind of stuff. And then Rowan's is going to go in his closet for his toys because right now a lot of his extra toys that stay up in his bedroom are in a cardboard box. So this is definitely a step up. I definitely do want to strip and or paint these. So please let me know in the comments what you think I should do. And then I also got two gorgeous antique spindle leg tables and I'm absolutely obsessed with these. I could not believe that I found them for $5 each at this thrift store. I had to grab both. I actually went back and made a second trip to grab one of them because I couldn't fit it all in my car. And this first one, the shorter one, has a lift top. So there's actually a little bit of storage in it. And I fell in love with the wood color and wood grain. It hasn't been stained or anything. So it's this really pretty like natural pine, I wanna say is what the wood looks like to me. I'm not an expert, so I'm not entirely sure, but this is gonna go in my craft room and it's gonna hold all of my really large pieces of paper and Cricut mats and stuff like that. And then I'll put my Cricut on it and it'll be perfect. Then the second one has very similar legs. It's a bit taller and it also has two drop leaves on the end, I think is what they're called. It also has a drawer in one side. So again, a little bit of storage. This one I would like to sand down, hopefully to a similar color as the first one. And this one's going to go in Juniper's nursery right next to the rocking chair so that I can have a place to put my water in the middle of the night when I'm nursing. And I just think it's a really sweet antique piece. So all in all, four, two tables, two dressers, two chairs, the bowl, baby outfit and hat, two pieces of fabric, the wooden, butcher block riser and the yardstick. I spent $80, which I feel like is really great. I left this trip feeling like I had just gone antiquing and like spent a ton of money because I got so many special furniture pieces, but they were all like $5 from the thrift store. So I was super happy with that. I would love to know what your favorite of all the pieces that I picked up is. Please let me know down in the comments and also let me know what you think I should do with the two dressers. Should I sand them? Should I paint them? Should I do one of each? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you being here. I do a lot of thrifting content on my channel. So if you're interested in that and you want to subscribe for more in the future, buttons right down there. As usual, I hope you guys are having a super awesome day wherever you are. I love you lots and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!